Welcome back, y'all. You're watching Smoking Lid. I'm Caesar Cantu, and today we're going to be smoking the number one cigar by Cigar Aficionado, the Perez Carillo Encore Majestic by E.P. Carillo. It was rated a number 96, so today we're going to find out why. What's up guys? Here we are. Oh well, let's see uh, how this is gonna taste. It does come in a cellophane, as you guys can see. It's pretty nice little wrapper. Keeps your cigars protected. Bugs and crushing it or whatever the case is. Um, but here it is, you guys can see. It's triple capped. You see the uh, label there, it's really nice. It just got like a cream color foot label here. But that pretty label is really, really, really nice. It's kind of like a little box press on there. I really like it. It's got a lot of seams. Um, a little dark chocolate color not too dark but you can see I mean you can see some see that right there not very nice looking but well, hopefully it smokes well alright so we're gonna cut it with my um, Zycar cutter here nice little cutter here it was a gift for Christmas from my brother-in-law my sister Jennifer Let's give it a little cut here, a little snip. Nice little cut. Check that out. And here we go. Use our little trusty Zycar liner here. So let's cut and smoke. Excuse the uh, basketball bouncing or the thumping in the back when these kids are running around. We got some very noisy neighbors sometimes, so got a bunch of kids out there. It's Saturday, so you probably be hearing that anyways. Y'all know what's up with that. Mm. Very light draw. Right away, a spice in my mouth. Kind of like a light pepper, kind of. <clears throat> Stays through the mouth, keeps staying there. I can still taste it. It's pretty strong. little bit of age you can taste a little bit of the age and it's a, not a lot a little creamy but that spice is like just it's there you can taste it I mean it you can feel it all through my tongue I can feel it yeah, it's all in my tongue my throat <clears throat> but it's 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 a decent cigar so far but is it a 96 I don't know I guess we'll have to find out um, but the first third right now, it's not bad. I get a little bit of leather right now, little hints of leather, a lot of spice, even through the retro hell, a lot, a lot of spice, but not, not bad, not a bad cigar. 
and, and also when you when you um when when you take a puff of it, it it's it's very light so it's not tight so maybe it feels like it won't it, it'll burn real fast it's not gonna last that long All right, well, this is the first first third, but um just a little note guys, the the binder, the filler and the wrapper is from Nicaragua, so it's a it's a poodle. Sorry guys, my camera had cut off, but we're back. And so far the burn has been pretty sharp. Not bad at all. You can see here, Let's see, it focuses on there. I have not had to retouch it or anything. I have not had to um, use my ash tray and knock this off. Um, but it's gotten very smooth. The spiciness has gone away. It's very, very light. It's kind of like uh, right in the back. I do get a spice, like a black pepper spice, very lightly though, in the retro hill. Um, but it's been consistent with uh, some chocolate, leather, cedar. Um, the, the smoke's kind of creamy, thick smoke. Um, but so far, so good. It's not bad. It is burning kind of fast. So I'm hoping it lasts at least an hour, somewhere around there. But so far, so good. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm enjoying the cigar. Um, <clears throat> Uh, for a beginner, I don't think it's it's a good idea to get one of these yet. But I mean, if you can find one, put it in your humidor for for a year or two until until you get used to getting a little uh, get a cigar that's a little bit more more uh, full bodied. So try it out, guys. It's not bad at all. It's it's still here in the medium. kind of like a medium to full area so it's a real good cigar guys and I mean I got nothing to say I mean it's it's, it's burning good ash is still holding kind of strong <laughs> see what falls nope still good so no complaints here yet so let's see what's what's next but like I said all the flavors still the same just the spiciness had has gone down a lot it's just stayed real smooth and I'm enjoying the smoke I am I'm glad I was able to get a few of them I'll let you know later on where you can get a couple of these and they still have them stay tuned guys we're at the halfway point just about the halfway point I need to take these labels off already because it looks like it's going to burn. You see what's going on there? <clears throat> it looks like it's starting to burn right here before it's even there. Before the everything else gets, gets there, you, you see? Hopefully it doesn't cause any problems. I've never seen it happen on any of the cigars that I've smoked before. But maybe I'm smoking it too fast. I don't know. I doubt it. But... First wrap, uh, first label came off easily. It's taking off the second label. Let's see how this how this can come off easy also. Ah, oh, shoot! <laughs> they coast ash all over me. <laughs> I was hoping that didn't happen. I was trying to get it done without it happening, but oh well, it happens, right? Looks like I gotta relight it again. <clears throat> Where's my lighter? Can't find the lighter. <laughs> it's not look like everybody else. <laughs> Here we go. Under my notepad. Slide it back up. This is the first time I gotta relight this boy. So let's hope that. 
Watch that series. If you see me, if you see me smiling. It's because my daughter's right here next to me, watching me. <clears throat> Come say hi. <laughs> She loves the fact that I started a YouTube channel. She thinks it's the most amazing thing in the world. And she just wants to be here and watch me do it. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's so good in my eyes. <laughs> when the ash fell, she got some in her eye. Like the wind blew it to her eye. So she's over here laughing and wiping her eyes. She's all right, though. All right, flavors are still the same, consistent. Nothing's changed so far. Um, still kind of dry. Um, burn has been good, except that little touch up, touch up you guys saw me just do right now. Um, but still with cedar, leather, hint of uh, spiciness, black spice, black pepper. I mean, um, <clears throat> in the retro hell. <clears throat> but it's, it's, it's still a good cigar. I mean, it's it's a good cigar. But a number one cigar, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I've tasted other stuff that tastes better than this. To be honest with you. I've tasted way better stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. I mean... You got other cig uh, magazines that rated other cigars and have number one cigars for uh, different other types of cigars. So, don't want to say the names, but I don't know about this cigar being number one. I'm being honest. It's a good cigar, but not number one. I know that's for a fact. It isn't? Mm -hmm. I will get back with you in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm sorry. My uh, microphone turned off, and I didn't find out until I was done with the video. I went, you know, reviewed the video, and right in the end, my uh, mic was off. I guess I forgot to charge it all the way. But anyways, I'll try make I'll make sure it won't happen again. <sighs> but let's recap on the cigar. Cigar was re real spicy in the beginning. Black pepper cedar chocolate leather but that black pepper was like a burst of black pepper in my mouth and through the retro hair after that after that little beginning it got really 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 smooth i mean it was real good black pepper went away everything else was still there the cedar the chocolate it was real creamy um thick smoke um a little hint of, of sweetness but not not too much i mean you could barely taste any sweetness. Um, but I did still have the black pepper only in the retro hill. Not too strong anymore. Um, real good cigar. And towards the end, I mean, it stayed the same. It burnt good. I only had to uh, relight it one time. But towards the end, I got everything. And then it ramped up a little bit where the black pepper came back. Came back and it wasn't as strong as the beginning, but it was there. And, and the retro hill was just... Boom, just black pepper, black pepper. I was like, all right, it's, it's good. It was good. Um, and then I started getting like a, 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 a note of uh, roasted nuts. I mean, it was just real nutty, like roast nuts. It, it was good. But as far as the cigar being a 96, a number one cigar for, for a cigar aficionado, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I've tasted a lot better cigars. It was good. Burned well. It it lasted about an hour, an hour and ten minutes. Um, so the burn was great. I mean, a good cigar, but as far as being a number one cigar, not to me. It might be to you. It might be to somebody else, but it wasn't for me. I've tasted a lot better cigars. 
um, uh, try it out, guys. Try it out. You can find it. Try it out. I'm, I recommend it. Uh, it ain't my top ten cigar, uh, at least for now. Uh, who knows? I'll, I'll smoke throughout this year, and I will give out a top ten list or top five list of my favorite cigars at the end of the year. It might be on the list. It might not. Depends on what I smoke. Depends on what I like. Um, another thing is um, I I want to uh, do other reviews um, since I do have a beard. You know, I I was talking to a buddy of mine and also thinking about doing reviews on beard oil. Beard balm, beard butter, beard shampoo, things like that. Uh, beard combs. So, for you guys that have beards and, and, and looking at buy beards, you know, beard product, let me know what companies you want me to review and I'll, I'll review it. I'll, I'll try it out, you know, I'll see what's up because I like to try new stuff. Um, uh, and there's one about two companies that I use right now and, and they work pretty well, but. Let me know what you guys want. <clears throat> um, now, for the cigar that I did smoke just now, I know it's hard to find. The price ranges from I seen it from eleven fifty right now to like twelve bucks, thirteen bucks online, and everybody's sold out. Everybody's sold out. But there is one website that has it. It's called LittleCigarBox.com. And they're good friends of mine, and that's where I got my cigars from. Actually, the place is down the street from me. The if you live in Pasadena, Deer Park, or Laporte, Houston, it's right down Spencer Road. The place is called uh, Pasadena Cigar and Tobacco. Stop by; they're real nice, friendly people. But their website is called LittleCigarBox.com, and their price, I believe, is at eight dollars or eight fit eight fifty. For, for that cigar. So it's it's a good price. They did not jack it up like everybody else just because it's number one cigar or anything like that or it's hard to find. No, there it's a reasonable price, regular price. Um get it on that website. I will put a link under the under the video so you guys can just link in there and then purchase that cigar. When I was there they had just got a box. Um so I think they only got like a box or a box and a half. So guys man check it out go in there and get it before they're gone um because you already know once those are gone who knows when they might get some more um but guys thank you very much thank you for all your support thank you for everything um like me like the video if you uh subscribe and share it if you guys got facebook or anything like, like that sh share it for me please guys um it is my first review so <laughs> i will get better at it um it's just I'm not used to doing things like this, but with your guys with your support guys, I will get better and better and better and we'll do a lot more fun stuff. Thank you very much. Um stay tuned because I will be reviewing um uh other cigars and products and uh cigar accessories, uh gun stuff, guns, gun accessories and all that other good fun stuff that we guys like to to do and, and enjoy. Guys, thank you very much. God bless. God bless your family and God bless America.